from where you stand, how's the holiday season looking up to you? How is how are sales? How's revenue? Well, you know, we're, as a public company, we can't talk about our uh, numbers interim inter quarter, but I think uh, you know. Uh, our business is highly uh, reactive to the weather, and we've had great weather in the last few uh, days, certainly in the bulk of the United States. But I think we can't discount the impact of the of the uh, trade war uh, on the dampening of the consumer in the United States. Uh, you know, these tariffs are are really a tax on consumers, and you know it may be that we're seeing some of the impact of the taxes, the tariffs, uh, and in the uh, fight with uh, with China. When you look at uh, the trade war at this point, uh, have you had to uh, pay more for any of the materials that, uh, that you sell? And, and if you have, yeah, so are you raising prices to consumers? Yes. So uh, we have a quite broad and diverse sourcing base as it relates to merchandise which we import into the United States. It's a, call it uh, mid uh, double digits, so in the teens, low teens, uh, amount of merchandise that we, on a dollar value basis, that we import in the United States from China. And on some of those products, we actually have various prices. So, uh, yeah, it's been impactful, but you know, we're not the only ones that are having this kind of issue. If you're a soybean farmer or you're making a John Deere tractor or something, there have been much more severe impacts uh, of the trade war. So, to just stay sort of on the immediate, you know, pulse of, of the economy, Tim, um, the CAS freight shipment index fell almost 6 percent in October. They're sort of reaffirming uh, that we're looking into a, an economic contraction, that GDP could go negative by next year. And we love looking at that. It's a really good indicator of sort of real-time uh, shift in sort of what uh, products are being uh, moved around the country. Um, do you feel more or less optimistic than you might have, say, three months ago? Well, you know, uh, business is really reliant on being able to, to predict the future. And when we have issues such as we have with trade uh, wars going on, uh, it's very, very difficult to predict what's going to happen and to make uh, long-term investments. You know, our business is strong. We have a very strong balance sheet. We have a great business in the U.S. and globally. But we just get concerned when we're not able to predict uh, the, where we should invest and what the returns are likely to be. Well, it raises a question because this is what we get from a lot of CEOs. Uh, what are you doing? Are you just sort of holding back until you get some sort of clarity? What are your uh, capital plans for the coming year? Can you even make them at this point? Well, in some areas of the world, we, we feel comfortable and we make investments in Europe, as an example, um, where, we've, where we've been doing business for a long time, and in other markets. And, and not to say that we're not investing, but we would be probably more buoyant about the future investments in the business if we had some, some reasonable predictability of what will happen uh, to our government and wh whether or not the rule of law will, will continue to be established here. Well, I guess that raises the question of what is it you actually need to see to have more confidence? Uh, the trade wars go away, this phase one deal. Uh, what would it take to, to turn your uh, caution into confidence? Well, um, so our products are among the most heavily tariffed in the United States. Our, the tariffs on our products from a historical basis have been in the mid-teens uh, up, up to 37.5% from time to time. So when we're when we're making predictions and purchases for future seasons, where we make those purchases in the world is important because the pricing will be, will be critical. Some, some countries where we source product have no duties, others have significant duties. And if we're buying from a country that uh, we place an order for delivery in the future and for some capricious reason the tariff changes because somebody wakes up on the wrong side of the bed in Washington, um, it's, it's very difficult for us to, with any kind of certainty, uh, you know, actually buy merchandise that's going to be sold in a future season. Uh, let me put it then into a macro perspective. Are you still <laughs> hiring? Uh, where do you see wages going? Uh, you know, as an employer, how do you react? Well, we, we have employees all over the world. Uh, we happen to be headquartered here in Portland, which has a very robust um, uh, employment uh, number. So it's, it's more expensive here in the U.S. To, to hire employees. And we are hiring in some areas where, as you mentioned uh, earlier in the segment, we have a, a robust Internet business and, and folks who are 
experts in that category of, of expertise uh, are much more in demand than others. So, you know, it depends on the, on the particular category of employee that we're looking for. Do you feel like you've been able uh, to pass on the price increase as well? Like, has, the, ha has your consumer base absorbed it? Well, consumers never want to pay more for something than they than they have in the past. Uh, but you know, we're as I said, we're we are used to working with tariffs. So tariffs are included in the prices that we charge for our merchandise. If the tariffs go up, the prices go up, and we would expect that there would be some elasticity, uh, some impact uh, from the higher prices. We haven't seen it yet, but it's our expectation that the higher prices will have an impact. Uh, Tim, I know you might not have exposure here, but I did want to get your take on it. Uh, Canada Goose talked about Hong Kong on, on Wednesday and say how their <coughs> business is being hurt there. Uh, have you noticed within Asia any trickle down from the consistent protests that we've seen? Well, we have a big business in, in uh, Hong Kong and in China. Our business in Hong Kong is with a, a longtime partner. And retail, <coughs> excuse me, retail throughout Hong Kong has been impacted. Uh, but frankly, for us, <coughs> the impact has been much more severe in China on the, um, on the basis of the trade war and in the U.S. on the importation of products from China.